Guess that means I'm official now, right? Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're having an amazing day. Today's video, we're gonna have an ice fishing catch and cook with my dog, one of my favorite catch and cooks I've ever filmed on my channel, so stay tuned for that. Really quick before we get started, I wanna let you guys know I have some very exciting news. After many requests from so many of you guys, I have finally put the rubber to the road and started the Melican Fishing Podcast. I'm going to link it at the top of the description right here. I'd love if you'd go over. I only have one or two episodes posted um, right now at this time, but over the next couple of weeks, I have some very, very exciting guests lined up to come on the show and maybe give you guys uh, a little bit more of a behind the scenes at uh, a little bit more who I am, who some of these important people in my life and uh, in the fishing industry are, uh, and just give you a, a different way to consume Melican fishing on a very, very regular basis basis. I'm freaking excited for it. And uh, yeah, I'd love if you go subscribe to my podcast so you can have the updates when it comes the next couple days. Go leave it a review if you uh, if you do like it. If you hate it, leave that review too. But I will catch you guys very, very soon on the podcast. Hit the link at the top description. Let's go do some ice fishing. Are you bored? Do you want to go fishing? Should we go fishing? Come on, let's go find some fish. Come on. What is up, MFers? Welcome back to uh, the, the frozen tundra up here in the north. Um, if you live in the south, very jealous of you guys right now. It is, uh, it's officially winter here. We had some mild temperatures in December and into January here in Nebraska, but it has turned into a full-on freaking cold winter tundra disgustingness fest. But the good news is about that, um, we got some safe ice to go out and do some ice fishing. So I loaded up my, my best little friend here, my little fishing pooch, Emmy. Emmy, hello, you're on camera. You wanna say something? No, great. Today was one of those days where I probably should be, you know, getting some stuff done, like picking up the house, doing some laundry, get my oil changed, go get some equipment I need for filming in the future. And I was just like, you know, screw it. We got safe ice here finally. So we're gonna drive about an hour away from home. And Amy's been looking at me the last several days, sitting around like just bored out of her damn mind. So we're going out on the lake today. We're gonna hopefully catch, um, I don't know what kind of fish we're gonna catch, but this lake we're going to, it's a new lake that I just found the other day, uh, myself and porn stash. And it's got crappie, bluegill, bass, catfish, a little bit of everything. It's actually surprisingly really good. And it's one of the only safe ice areas to fish around here. Ice is still probably only about three inches. I mean, I got a little bit further drive, but we will catch you guys at the lake. I'm gonna get my clothes on. Can you not do anything stupid? Hey, come here. Let's go. Come on. Come on. All right, we are out on the lake. Myself, the fishing pooch. You love it, Em? She loves it. Emmy is obsessed with being outdoors and especially fishing. Hopefully we'll have some fish here shortly to uh, have her play with, smell, click. If you guys have a dog, definitely take them ice fishing. It's like her favorite freaking thing in the world. She loves being on the boat, but I think she might like ice fishing even more. Way more equipment than we need back behind me. I actually brought my catch and cook stuff, so there is a possibility we'll be doing a catch and cook out on the ice here if we do get lucky enough to catch something, but we're just out on a small little lake here. This right here is where we fished the other day and it was fire. As you can see, those are our holes we drilled. Uh, we got some sticks sticking out. There's a, a crazy ice fishing dog right there. Basically, it is a, uh, a little channel that runs through this little small little lake right here. And the fish seem to be pretty loaded in the channel. So we got some holes popped and uh, let's get after them. Sorry, there's some wind noise. We're supposed to blow it all today. So, you know, naturally, wind's blowing pretty good. Drill right here next to this tree. Pretty curious about that, Em. Is that a fishing hole? Ice is three to four inches, so definitely not super thick. We got about 13 feet of water, and appears we got fish down there as well. Good start. What are you doing? Come here. No, no, no. Come here. Emmy's out here trying to explore. There's one other hut right over there. Those guys. Which makes me feel better about being out here by myself. And I mean, safe enough ice for me. We were out here the other day. I knew it's been even colder since then, but always good that we can holler and have some people over here to help us if we would go through. And I got my spikes on everything. We're going to start with what I'm putting on right now. The old Swedish nipple waxworm. Generally that can get a better quality of fish than just a little teardrop or something. But if the bite's tough, we will be throwing a teardrop. I freaking love how much this dog loves being in the outdoors. She is a perfect fit for us. What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Damn it, are you serious? Oh, we're out. We're out, we're gonna need a new hole. I'm fishing somewhere else. That's just uh, too close for comfort. Look at our first fish. We got ourselves a baby Jillian. Actually not the smallest gill of all time. 
I guess if we wanted to keep this one, we, we totally could. Maybe we will. Look how thick that guy is. Thick Juan. I was kind of hoping for some bigger bluegill and crappie, but that's an eater size. Hell yeah. Just gonna touch it, huh? A little touchy. Touch and go. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's got it that time. What do we got down there? Another gill. Another fat guy. These guys are thick. Thick. Beautiful bluegill. Ice fish. Can't hate it. Not a big bluegill guy, but take what we can get sometime. I'd like to catch some crappie though, so we're not gonna give this hole too much longer. Got another one, Em. Another one for you. Another one for you. Ooh, what do you think about that one? Yeah, I'm not too excited about that one either. It's tiny. That's a little baby. Should we switch to a new hole? Should we switch? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Let's switch. There we go. He was way up high. That feels better too. Oh, he's in the tree. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's a way bigger bluegill. That's what I'm talking about. He got a bunch of moss. He got stuck in that tree down there. Again, just a bluegill, but that's the biggest one we caught today. That's probably nine inches or so. That's a big bluegill. Like it? You can play with it. Go for it. What kind of fish are these? What kind of fish are they? Hungry. That's what. It feels a little better. What do we got? A crappie. You bet. We got our sus gum craps. <laughs> Look at it. Do you want to smell it? Do you want to smell it? Watch out. She's unsure about life right now. That's okay. So am I most of the time, man. There we go. Right away. Right away. It's a fatty gill. Amy, look at this blue gill. Look at this blue gill. They're so fat. Freaking throwing slack in my line down there, Emmy. There we go. Emmy, look. Look, Emmy. We got a fish. Oh. Tanker gills. Tanker jillions. No big craps, no bass. Did get broken off by something the other day that I thought was a catfish, but bluegill freaking galore today. There we go. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, shit. It's a big bluegill. Emmy's got to go say hi to everyone that shows up, of course, but I don't know. Dudes over there weren't catching any of that guy, so he talked to them. We're catching a few. Like we've been saying, not, not the best to get out here and catch a freaking bluegill, but at least we're catching good ones. Barely even caught a small one so far today. Usually all these lakes out here, you catch 924 small ones before you get anything worth shit. This year's been pretty good to us so far. That's the rig though. Basically a teardrop, waxworm, splooged of course, where we pop the tail off and it makes it leave a little scent trail. Scent and of course, a whole bunch of nasty white. We call it splooge. That's it. Nothing crazy. There we go, he freaking crushed it. Oh, it's a pass. No wonder. I was like, dang, that thing ate it way quicker than any of these fish have today. And with a lot more force. It's a bass, Emmy. That's your favorite. Oh, are you afraid of him? You scared of him? I'd put him on the ice and let you play with him, but we ain't keeping him. <laughs> what are you scared of? Oh, God, these guys want it. Yes. These guys are angry. What do we got? Yep, I thought that was a crappie. I thought that was a crappie. Oh, there's more on the screen. We gotta get down there, Emmy. Should be keeping these six cents pliers in my pocket. They're in my damn backpack. Don't got time to go over to them. Gotta get back down there. They're waiting for it. Emmy, they're waiting for us. They're waiting for us. Let's see if they come back and eat right away. Usually when they, they're schooled up and grouped up like this and super aggressive and up off the bottom, they are crappies. Ooh, he touched it. Wish I had more wax from on there. I just got some remnants. The difference of a fresh bait can be absolutely freaking huge sometimes. That one's been down there for a while. Here's a fresh wax worm. Let's see if it pays dividends for us right quick. Kind of like when you got a fresh piece of cut bait or something. Saltwater guys, you guys all know that if you're watching. Let's see what a fresh wax he does for us. There we go. Sit in his damn mouth. Ooh, that's a big old crap. Get out of there. Yeah, bud. Look at that one. Not a giant, giant one, but one of the better ones we've caught today. Mostly because it's one of the only crappie we've caught today. Came up and crushed it. Yes. 
Today's definitely been a good time out here on the water. Haven't caught anything super impressive, but myself and the old fishing pooch Emmy here definitely are catching up crappie and good sized bluegill to, uh, to keep ourselves occupied. And we got enough to take home and eat for dinner. Man, these holes are freaking loaded. Out here in the channel fishing about 11 to 13 feet of water. And I'm just dropping that Swedish nipple down there with a little piece of wax for them. Little jigs right in front of their face and they come up in schools. And it's not super hard bites. The only really hard bite I had today was that little largemouth that just caught. Definitely some uh, some really nice eater sized crappies, bluegills. We're gonna cook those up here in just a little bit. Emmy's out exploring. She's pretty much, she likes this little pond area because she can go check out the entire thing, go say hi to everyone. And that's been another cool thing too. Just had a couple MFers walk up, talk for a while. My man right back here, I don't know if you can see his hut or not. He's an MFer as well. So uh, out here, fishing with the people. If you guys ever see me on the water, I always tell you this, come say hi to me, come come shoot the shit. I love talking fishing with anyone. Yeah, I think we probably got enough fish for the, uh, the fish fry and everything we're about to do here in a little bit, but I like to catch them. So I'm gonna stick out here and uh, hopefully catch a few more. Like a squirrel that found a nut, look at her. Okay, decided to do the catch and cook at the house. Originally I was gonna do it on the water, but um, Spanky started whining and shaking. And I don't know if she was actually cold or she was just getting bored of being out on the water, fishing and not running around chasing down MFers that we kept meeting on the water. Been home for about two minutes, just looked at her and she is completely passed out indoors. So good to go. Let's fly up some fish. Decided to bust out the old electric guy for some of these pan fish. They definitely fillet up easier, in my opinion, with the electric knife. These crappie and bluegill got a lot of scales and this gets right through them and you can get a really nice cut all the way across the body so we can start going over. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm sure a lot of you know how to fillet fish, but if you don't and you wanna learn real quick, this is what I like to do. I kinda of get an angle, I start with the back towards me with my little clamper board. By the way, these boards are badass. They hook onto the bucket. There's a little clip there on the bottom, little little groove in the, bu in the board hooks out of the bucket like that so it won't slide all over the place. Uh, we got the clamper guy up here and we're gonna go at a diagonal angle. This fan actually doesn't matter, we can just cut through that. We're gonna cut right across here. We're gonna get a nice cut all the way down to the spine. We don't wanna go too far through it, that's the biggest thing. And then we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna run it right against that backbone, aka the spine. And you'll just kind of press down with the knife flat like this so you don't go through it. It's kind of a touchy process that it takes a minute to get used to. But once you get it figured out and you get through some of those ribs, you can ride this guy all the way down. When we're almost to the end, we'll flip it over. As you can see, we are right to the backbone there. We'll start back up right here again. Cut down to the skin. We'll ride the skin all the way down. There we go. Pretty good size fillet there for not a giant crappie. As you can see, we still got the ribs. One more time, we'll cut right at the ribs and then we'll pull up on the knife to ride the ribs. The entire way. Sometimes you're able to get the meat behind them. Unfortunately, these aren't the uh, the biggest crop in the world, but that's gonna be a delicious freaking filet right there. Nice little 10 inch crappie. Fresh crappie and bluegill out of the ice. Probably one of my favorite fish, if not my favorite of all time. Let's go cook them up. Oil's heating up. Got one of, if not my favorite, shore lunch original. Batter, milk, and of course, Beautiful bluegill and crabs. You guys know the process. This ain't anything crazy. We're going into the milk and then we're going into the shore lunch. Gotta get them nice and coated. We don't want to skimp on the coating. And the oil. We're going light on oil today. Light. Very light. Oh, that looks good. And we have a very special guest. Look who it is. 
the dab master. So it has in fact been a couple days since myself and Emmy went out and did some fishing, caught these crappie and bluegill, filleted them up, and now uh, we had a little snow day today. So dab master got to school. We just been kicking it here, and I thought that uh, he'd be the one that probably wants to enjoy these beautiful crabs, bluegills more than anyone. Yeah. Fried this fish. This one even looks like a fish. Dude, I mean. it does. Fried fish is like one of your favorite foods. Okay, better try this. We're using this shore lunch. Get one, buddy. We're using this shore lunch fish batter, which I don't know if Max has ever had, but it's gonna be a little bit toasty for you. I can see the steam coming off. Hashtag fire. <laughs> Tastes good. Do you have any taste buds left on your tongue? It tastes good, but it's still pretty hot. Melted your face off. Whoa, there's a dog tail over there. All right, I better give it a taste. A little, little taste myself. Mm, you can't get shore lunch fish batter everywhere anymore, which is travesty because it is, it's probably my favorite to be honest. It coats the fish just better and differently than any other stuff and way better than like the old Walmart basic stuff that you can get and uh, even though I end up getting that a lot because it's at Walmart and the freaking shore lunch is not at Walmart, I would strongly recommend this. It comes in buffalo too. That's what I have in my catch and cook um, bag right now for ice fishing and stuff. So you'll probably see me use some buffalo very soon. Freaking love the stuff. But um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna crush this fish right now, me and Max and uh, maybe Emmy will get a piece too because she was a good puppy out on the ice. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, please go check out my podcast. Go subscribe. Share it with your friends if you like fishing. We got a, a lot of interesting content. I don't have a lot up there right now, but I'm going to have some really interesting guests, I, I think, in my opinion. And uh, we're not always going to keep it status quo. We're going to ruffle some feathers and stuff like we've done in some videos here recently. And um, I don't know. I'm never going to bullshit you guys. I'm always going to keep it 100, as we always say. But thanks so much for watching this video and my first catch.